The Nuclear Regulatory Commission has specific requirements for the design, construction, and operation of nuclear power plants to ensure that those plants can withstand earthquakes that might be expected in their area. Those regulations are based on the safe shutdown ground motion, which means the level of vibration safety-related structures and equipment at a plant must endure during a seismic event and still function. That ground motion number varies from nuclear plant to nuclear plant based on the geology of the area, its seismic history, and specific geotechnical information, or the way engineers use geology to determine building requirements. Two events in 2011, only a few months apart, highlighted the importance of the NRC's seismic regulations. In March 2011, a 9.0 magnitude earthquake off the coast of Japan caused a tsunami that disabled power supplies and cooling to several nuclear reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear station. Important safety structures and equipment were largely undamaged by the earthquake's ground motion, but flooding from the tsunami created major problems. In August 2011, a much smaller earthquake, measuring 5.8 in magnitude, occurred near Mineral, Virginia, close to the North Anna nuclear station. The plant exceeded some ground motion levels for which it was licensed, and both North Anna units safely shut down. Detailed reviews and inspections by Dominion, the plant operator, and the NRC confirmed there was no damage to safety equipment and both North Anna units were given permission to restart in November 2011. These two events provided valuable insight into how nuclear plants might withstand an actual earthquake and provided important information the NRC is using to improve its regulations and ensure the safety of U.S. nuclear plants. That gave us um, some understanding and confidence that the um, seismic margin which is the level of capacity that a plant has beyond the level of shaking that it experienced is, is actually truly what we had been calculating. NRC seismologists have worked closely with NRC inspectors, license reviewers, and others within the agency to apply the real-world lessons of Fukushima and North Anna to all other U.S. nuclear plants. That effort included NRC teams walking through the nuclear plants to look at important structures, systems, and components, and determine if there were any potential issues with how that plant might fare during an earthquake. In addition to information from the two actual earthquakes, the NRC continually works to make sure potential earthquake hazard information for all nuclear plants is as up-to-date and as accurate as possible. A major effort in that area began several years before the earthquakes in Japan and Virginia. That analysis confirmed that the country's nuclear plants remain safe, and although the overall seismic risk is low, some plant estimates may have increased and are getting further NRC attention. Over the next few years, we'll take a look at that hazard and do risk assessments also for the plant to determine if upgrades are needed, uh, or determine if further uh, you know, equipment needs to be upgraded or um, additional work needs to be done. So um, it's an ongoing effort, very extensive, very thorough, and um, we're confident that we will determine that the plants are, are continue to be safely operated. Because I do work here and I see the way that the performance criteria and the performance levels and the care that's given into our the assessment that we're doing for these plants. And I think that my own level of confidence uh, or comfort is definitely um, getting stronger as we're going through this recommendation 2.1 process where we're, we're doing a very thorough job of putting numbers and risk numbers and new hazard numbers against these plants. Fortunately, the seismic risk for most U.S. nuclear plants is very low and all plants are designed to withstand the ground motions expected in that area. However, the NRC continues to examine information from actual earthquakes and review improved predictive models, as well as inspect current plants, those under construction, and those still in the design phase, to be certain that people living near U.S. nuclear plants are protected.